Most people who work for a living pay national insurance contributions, which go towards our pensions, benefits and health care. There are four main types of national insurance, but if you're self-employed, the most important ones you need to get your head around are Class 2 and Class 4. Zora Suleiman reports. Class 2 national insurance contributions are paid by everyone who's self-employed. People like Ray Goff, for instance, who runs his own tattoo parlour in Southsea. Being my own boss, doing what I do, I had changed my whole lifestyle because of mental illness and I needed to find something that suited the way I actually looked and could use the look that I have. From a disabled person's angle, should we say, it does give you the freedom um, to, to structure your work with your, your problems, but it also gives you the real structure of life of knowing that you're actually contributing and not taking. Class 2 national insurance contributions are, are a fixed weekly amount. Uh, I pay my monthly by direct debit. When I went self-employed, I filled out a direct debit mandate and then that comes out of my bank account each month. You might also be interested in downloading details on what's known as the small earnings exception. This is when you apply not to pay Class 2 national insurance if you expect your earnings to fall below a certain threshold in the tax year. Even if you don't do this in advance, but realise down the line that you've paid too much Class 2, you can still claim a refund. Just so long as you make your claim in writing no later than the 31st of January following the end of the tax year. So, that explains Class 2 contributions. But what about Class 4? What's the difference? Sunita Shroff picks up the story in London. Sanko is a family-run partnership which specialises in school uniforms. I'm here at their shop in Hounslow, but they do also supply to wholesalers too. Earlier on, I asked partner Sandeep Sood to explain the difference between Class 2 and Class 4 national insurance contributions. Here's what he had to say. If your annual profits are above what's known as the lower profits limit, then you have to pay both Class 4 as well as Class 2 national insurance contributions. As Class 4 contributions are worked out as a percentage of your annual profit, they are calculated and paid through your self-assessment tax return. There's also an upper profits limit, and you continue to pay Class 4 contributions above that limit, but the rate you pay is considerably less. This is Sunita Shroff reporting from Hounslow in London. Occasionally, it's possible you might pay too much for national insurance. For instance, if you're self-employed, but sometimes you also work for an employer. If this happens, you can either postpone or defer some payments till the end of the year or claim a refund if you've already paid too much. For more information on this, look at the website.